Pipe clamps by far are the most economical way to get large clamps. You need a larger clamp, you get an adapter, you get an extra piece of pipe, suddenly you've doubled the length of your clamp. I've got a few of them. I've just picked up this pipe clamp from Timbercon as the Balladonia three quarter inch pipe clamp. To answer the question in the title of the video, is this the best pipe clamp in Australia? The answer is no. However, it's the only type of pipe clamp you should buy. All right, so to answer that question a bit better, I'm gonna compare the Timbercon clamp to the others on the market. The only other that I know of, other than these three, is the Irwin clamps, and they go for about $60. They're nothing special. Let's start at the low end. This is a generic red clamp. It has no branding on it. You can buy it from Carbotech if you like, though you're better off getting it on eBay where you can get four of these for about $44. So they work at about $11 each. If you want to buy them from Carbotech, they'll set you back about $23, I believe. If I had to summarize this pipe clamp, the best way to describe it would be it functions fine, but it's made by someone who was told what a pipe clamp is and has never used one. Everything does function fine, except with such a small foot and such a small jaw, it really isn't a contender in this workshop, and I use this out of desperation when I've got no larger clamps left. Next up is the Shorefoot Pipe Clamp from Rockler. It's part of their um, Shorefoot range, which is re referenced to this height here. This is available from Carbotech for $39. Pretty steep. It gets worse though because these plastic pads are extra. These aren't included, the soft pads. They're also pretty pricey for what they are. However, this is a good pipe clamp. Everything works smoothly. The clutch mechanism has an insane amount of pressure and can be quite tricky at times to undo it. Mallet Whack usually fixes that. But these are just well-made clamps with good proportions. The feet are big, but they're not too big. The jaw is excellently sized. It's already got holes in it, so you can put on your own jaws, which I have done with some of my others. So that means you can get soft jaws without having to pay Rockler's crazy price on that. And finally, we've got the Belladonia pipe clamp from Timbercom. This goes for $22.90, and it includes the soft jaws on it. If you include the price of the sleeve on the Rockler clamps, these work out being half the price. Just like the uh, Rockler ones, they've got a decent size foot, actually a larger foot than the Rockler one, but the overall jaw is a little bit smaller, and that's about it. These bear a striking resemblance to the Bessie pipe clamps, but a black instead of red. On the business end, they do only have the three clutch plates rather than four, but that isn't really an issue I've found from past experience. Um, that's not really gonna give way. So what makes these not the best clamps? Well, if you look at it functionally, the Rockler ones are probably a little bit better. I like the jaw size, that little bit extra size, a bit more than the Timcon ones. Functionally, otherwise, they're fairly identical. Maybe the Rockler one is a bit smoother, but it's also worn more, so perhaps that's all it is. However, to me, best can't be defined by what's the functional best. If a clamp was $1,000 but it clamped the best, no one would buy it. For me, it, you do need to factor in price. These Timbercon clamps are 95%, maybe 99% of the Rockler clamps, but for half the price, at least in Australia. For $100, I could get two of the Rockler clamps from Carbotech. That won't glow up a tabletop for me. But four for the same price, and that includes the soft pads, I could probably get away with doing a tabletop. To me, the value proposition of these is just so much greater than the Rockler clamps that it's pretty much a no-brainer. So to recap, Timbercon one's good and they get the very coveted Wood Knight thumbs up. Thanks for watching.